A few months ago, I was driving along the streets of Los Angeles with my friend, Zach, until we realized that we were running out of gas. We were trying to park somewhere to give our car a rest, but no luck. Then something caught our eyes. It was a McDonald's building with Ronald McDonald at the top of it. When we parked by the parking lot, we noticed that there was no customers inside. It was weird, considering that McDonald's is open 24-7. Also, there were no cars either. I could have swore that the Ronald McDonald statue turned its head against me. I told Zack about it, but when he saw it, it was in normal position. He told me I was going nuts, but the statue did turn its head. I then heard a faint laugh coming from inside. We got terrified. I tried opening the door, but it was locked by a rusty master combination lock. We didn't have time to figure out the combination, so Zack pulled out his gun and shot at it. It was finally unlocked. So we opened the door to the inside. What we saw was so horrible. There were dead corpses all over the tables, and chairs, and lots of blood in the soda machine. We puked in the trash can that was next to us, but before we did that, I saw mutilated arms and legs inside, which made us puke, e <sighs> puke even more. How did McDonald's end up like this? We were so hungry, so we ran into the kitchen. There were fries and a few burgers. I thought we finally found food until we saw more corpses. This time they had no eyeballs, just blood coming from the sockets. Their stomachs have been ripped open with their organs ripped out. I tried ignoring them, but they still bother me. I didn't even have time to eat fries. <laughs> we tried. We tried escaping through the main door, but it mysteriously locked by itself. We were now prisoners inside the building. We got scared just by staring at the corpses. Zack and I spit it up, trying to look for an exit. He went to a door that was covered in oil. I didn't want to... <laughs> I didn't want to enter with him, because I felt that danger was lurking behind the door. That's when I saw a small bomb in one of the dining tables. I... I picked up, fused with my lighter, and placed in the door. After ten seconds, it finally exploded. I was free to go wherever I want. I tried calling him to come back, but he still didn't answer. I filled up my car with my backup gas supply that I stored in the trunk, and I waited for him to come back to my car with me. It was now 7 o'clock p.m. That's when I saw a tall figure coming from the door with a chainsaw. I drove away as fast as I could. I managed to escape to my house. Zack never came back at all. Two days later, I received a newspaper with the most disturbing headline of all. It said, Two boys went to an abandoned McDonald's restaurant in the far side of Los Angeles. One manged to get away, with the other one nowhere in sight. Police are still trying to locate the man, but they never found proof. <laughs> they, then they mysteriously disappeared by entering a oil-covered door. What was behind that door? How did they all went missing? I hope someone would this mystery any <laughs> I hope someone would this <laughs> I hope someone <laughs> I hope someone would this mystery any time soon. And who is the strange figure?